Hello, let's see, today it is December 21st of 2016. I can't hardly believe that 2016 is almost over with. Can't believe that 2017 is coming up here. Wanted to update you a little bit what's been going on around here. Um, It's been cold, but of course nothing compared to what the rest of the United States has been going through, but still cold. I can't take the cold anymore. I'm going to, I'm going to get some curtains for these two windows in here that are lined because I can feel cold air coming through these windows and the windows in the other room. And then our front door, around the door and underneath the door, and a couple of times I've uh, had the apartment maintenance people come out and they put some uh, fabric, or not fabric, but a uh, little rubber, but it doesn't work with that front door. There's such a gap. So, uh, both uh, my daughter Hillary and uh, my grandson Russell have been sick with a cold for the last few days, and they Russell, for sure, is not going to come over here for uh, Thanksgiving because he has to work thanks or Thanksgiving, Christmas. He has to work Christmas Eve, and then he has Christmas Day off, and he has to work the next day, and he doesn't want his only day off. He doesn't want to come over here, so Hillary will probably be coming over. And uh, we haven't seen Hillary since Russell moved out because she went with him to help him move his stuff in and do that kind of stuff and it's uh, we don't have a car and uh, so Uber it's forty dollars each way and she doesn't want to spend she doesn't want to just pop over you know spend eighty dollars forty coming and forty going back to, but, so we haven't seen her since she left so we think we're going to see Hillary probably Christmas Eve. Russell, uh, he's, I don't blame him. Uh, you know, he has that one day off and he doesn't want to be coming over here because he's got his computer at home and his new apartment and everything. Uh, what else has been going on? I think I mentioned last time I've got uh, Windows 10 new install on each of my computers. Uh, my bedroom computer and my old computer in the office. Um, so they have new installs, so things work a little bit, you know, a little bit better. Uh, today I just got, um, see if I can find it, so what am I looking for? Uh, on Microsoft, is it Breeze, their browser? I got LastPass, the password thing. I got it to, um, got it to install for the first time. A while back they said that LastPass, because I, I can't do anything without LastPass, and, uh, and I use it all the time uh, for remembering passwords and logins and what have you. And uh, I couldn't get it to work before when they said that it would. Now I, I tried it today and it installed and it is working. So I'll start using uh, Breeze. Is that it? What is it? Microsoft Edge, their browser, Microsoft Edge. I'll start playing with that a little bit, see how that works. Um, one thing I wanted to mention, because for the last week, I've been wanting to list my Ubiquity networking stuff that I got. If you watched my videos, you saw when I got this hardware, and you saw videos of it running over there, and you saw, if you watched my videos, you also saw videos where I popped up the software and took you through uh, through the software. This equipment is 
fantastic, you know, hardware and the software, of course, is, you know, it's free. Uh, this is the switch, which I was using. You saw me using it. This I haven't put back in the box. It's over there, but this is the... Um, Wi-Fi. So I had it hooked by a cable just directly and I put it on the... You could mount it from the ceiling. I had it mounted on the wall over there. You saw that. And just had it going directly into here. Um, this, I don't know if... I, don't, I didn't hook this up. I don't... I, what this is... Uh, for just this, you don't need the the router or whatever. You can run the cable to this networking cable, plug it into here, then plug this in temporarily to your computer somehow, to a computer, any kind of a computer, and run the software and set this up and then you don't need this will run, it's just plugged into here, plugged into electricity. This will be your Wi-Fi, you know, 5 and 2.5 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. I was using both of those, whatever. Anyway, um, so I have this. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make you a deal. Um, So there's, there's this, there's this, there's this, and then you might, I think I showed this, uh, I remember sort of halfway joking and halfway serious, so what in the hell was it for? What this is, is sort of, uh, you've set this up. And then if you are a technician or a service person or whatever, and you have, say, in a building or in multiple locations or whatever, you go and just, instead of taking a laptop over and to make changes to this, uh, you just take this over, plug it in, and then it knows who you are because of the credentials in there or whatever. And then you do your changes or whatever. So, um, this cost $88, I like new, I actually never used, but still. This new is $138, this new is $200. This, I think, is $8.50 or $10 or something like that, I believe. So, I kind of hate listing stuff on eBay, but I'm going to list all the stuff on eBay to sell it. But, tell you what I'm going to do. You can have all of this stuff for $200 the price of this alone and this it's I mean it's not a scratch on it or I mean this is brand like brand new but it was sitting over there for a couple of months running you can have everything for two hundred dollars but if you're interested you need to contact me once I list it on eBay uh, you know, I'm trying to get out of the work and doing that. Um, so if you're interested, you can contact me and you can put the money into PayPal. Well, $200 plus, uh, it, I'll ship it all, but you need to pay for priority shipping. Uh, United States only, and that means even Canada. I don't want to deal. In the past, I've sent things to Canada. They've always got there, everything I've always shipped. Uh, but 
sometimes they get to the border and have to go through customs or something rather. So the people contact me and say, you know, I always send the, you know, the tracking thing and with the tracking, but some, from Canada, I've had a few people, they contact me and, you know, where is it? Well, you know, when I send it out and when it gets, uh, so, I'd like to ship it priority and you'd have to pay for the priority shipping. This will all fit into this uh, regional rate box B. So what you could do is pay the 200 into my PayPal account. Um, then I'll let you know what the uh, shipping will be when I make out the address label and what have you. And then you can send that. Wish this was a flat rate. I don't. I ordered some flat rate boxes. Uh, I mean, yeah, flat rate where they. Uh, but I don't know if they have one about this size. I like the flat rate where you, you know what it just put the stuff in as much as you can get in there if it'll fit. So that's the deal. Contact me if you're interested. Uh, show me blog at uh, gmail.com or whatever. You can, if you can't find me and contact me or whatever, then you probably wouldn't be smart enough to set this thing up. This thing's really neat. The way it is, it is so quality material. Uh, oh, I don't want to take it out of there again. It's, it's not. Um, I'll put the link to these things underneath the video here and you can go look at them on YouTube or on uh, Amazon. Then you could also do a search for these and, and uh, I don't know if you'd find my video or not. Because it might have been, the, the video might have been just like embedded into another of my, one of my 600 videos. That's something that I should work on hard to find. I know I've done things on certain things, and if you ask about something, a headset or whatever, where in the hell is that clip? You know, it's inside a, a, a general blog or something, so. So what else is going on? Um, I think that's it. Uh, I probably, well, today's the 21st, want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and uh, whatever your holiday is. And I guess in other parts of the world, they don't always celebrate on December 25th. I think some of them celebrate later. And I think some of the celebrations actually like spread out. Did you happen to see the video of, he's from Texas, of course, the minister, uh, you see that, I think it was on, actually CNN, I believe, but I know I saw it on YouTube. A minister went to a mall here in Texas, shopping mall, and the little kitties are all lined up with their parents to see Santa Claus, and he is yelling at them, to the kids, your parents lie to you. You parents lie to you. There is no Santa Claus. Uh, just going on, you know. This is the Savior Jesus Christ's birthday. It's not Santa Claus. There is no Santa Claus. And a couple parents go over and say, you know, a couple fathers go over and say, you know. So the guy uh, thought it was going to come to blows there for a little bit. And you see, you know, some little boy about four years old looking, <laughs> looking, 
Let's see. Yeah. What do you mean? He didn't say anything, but you know, it's like, what do you mean? There's no Santa Claus. Who's going to give me my presents? Um, so I haven't heard. They probably maybe won't even cover it. Uh, he said that he was going to go to another mall uh, here in Texas, but he wasn't going to uh, let anybody know ahead of time because security would be waiting, <laughs> waiting for him. Uh, well, you can could be kind of funny with the mall. If the mall knew he was coming, instead of having secure, they should have some L's with those bats that are spongy or whatever. And when the guy comes in, just of course that would be a, even though it would be you know, they just should go over and start beating on him. Of course, just up mall's luck, you know, you would hit this guy with something that wouldn't hurt him, you know, at all, and he would have a heart attack and. His family would sue and they would own the shopping mall or something. But I worked with uh, some people that, you know, nice, good people, but that, you know, you no, know, you know, no Christmas at, you know, no presents at Christmas time because it's uh, Jesus's birthday and Halloween especially. Oh, it's a satanic. Uh, which is terrible, you know, nothing, you know, kids can't go out and, and, and uh, whatever. What's so, it's crazy is uh, the Catholic Church decided, you know, when, when Jesus' birthday was going to be, you know, they picked December 25th or in that area because, uh, I don't want to say witches, but what, what, not Native American, but Native pagans. The pagans had a hell of a festival right around that time. I'd say, would it be planting or harvest? Would be December wouldn't be harvesting. Plant. They had a and that the, the people, you know, hey, this is we don't want to go to this Catholic church over here. That's kind of dull. We're having this fantastic pagan ceremony, you know. So the Catholic Church put. Christmas there to get, hey, come on over, we got this fantastic, you know. And a lot of the, not a lot, but several people I worked with were very much anti-Catholic, of course, you know, they're Baptist or whatever, very much anti-Catholic, and, uh, but yet, you know, they're celebrating uh Jesus' birthday on December 25th, the day that was, you know, <laughs> picked by the Catholic Church. I saw something one time, a documentary or something about the Bible, whatever, and I think it said that if there was a Jesus, and if you followed the Bible, and I forget what other, were they, because something in the Bible, I think it talks about that sheep, you know, were giving birth at the time, and I don't know anything about sheep, but I guess there's a certain time that they, and they don't give, they don't give birth in uh, December, it's like April or something, by things that were in the Bible blooming, talked about here or there, that they could, uh, if they were going to come up with some time that Jesus was born, I think it would have been like April not December. So anyway, this nut is going to the mall shouting that it's, you know, this is Jesus' birthday. No, I'm sorry, you know. If there was a Jesus, his birthday was probably in April, so. And then too, you were shouting, you know, that there is no Santa Claus. Your parents are, well, there was a Saint, Saint Nicholas, and I guess there really was a Saint Nicholas. Uh, who I think was Turkish, I believe. Turkish bishop or something. Anyway, enough rambling. I'll be talking to you. I'll probably be doing a video before the end of the year. We ought to talk about what I want to change, what I want to do differently in 2017. That's something we can all talk about. Come up with a few things you want to do. Don't, 
don't say lose weight. That's what we all say, and we never do it. Don't say eat better food because we all say it and don't do it. Uh, for me, I'm not going to say not drinking Coca-Cola because I've been saying that for, I'd say I'm 70. I've probably been saying that for, been drinking Coca-Cola all my life, and I've probably been saying it for 50 years, so I'm not going to say that. Let's come up with something else. Thank you very much for watching.